Hi folks and welcome to this second video on Little Live Pets, My Puppy's Home. So in this video we're going to dismantle the kennel, we're going to reload the puppy in the roof and see how this works. But first of all I want to give some feedback on some comments I've had. Oh, yeah. I've had a few comments from people asking if the heartbeat beats all the time or pretty much all the time. Uh-huh. It's beating now. It's beating now. So I never really took much notice of that in the last unboxing video. But in this video, we're going to keep this on and we'll take note of just how much the heartbeat goes and if it ever stops. When you stroke it, it's... It stops the heartbeat yeah, it seems because to you're getting from heartbeat to uh, puppy sounds, doesn't it? Yeah. Or when you feed it, get it to lick you, mm -hmm. or give it its bone, or give it its bone. So the heartbeat's not going now. Mm. If you're not using the touch sensor yeah, on the you head, get, you're getting a heartbeat, or activating the switch in the mouth, I think it pretty much goes all the time. Mm. I don't mind so much the idea of a heartbeat. Especially if it was a, like a vibration heartbeat, mm -hmm. but not that loud sound effect all the time. Uh, Interestingly, you can feel it as well, can you? You can feel the heartbeat as well. There's yeah. a vibration there. I don't think it's purely a speaker, is it? I don't know without opening it up, but it's not purely a speaker. But I quite like the heartbeat. I, 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 I agree with somebody who put a comment saying, I think that could get irritating. So when it's heavy breathing, it doesn't. The heartbeat's not going. Mm, yeah, because you're going into sleep mode, so the heartbeat stops. It's whenever it's making a noise, a different noise. You know, like it's making a, a snoring noise. Oh, I see. Noise. If it's making another noise, the heartbeat stops. The yeah. heartbeat stops, yeah. but it's like it's making a noise all the time because if it's not making a noise other than the heartbeat, the heartbeat's mm, going. Mm. So it's yeah, it's a bit. Irritating like that. Oh, I, I like it. So, getting on to the main part of the video. Uh -huh. You can disassemble your house so you can build it again later. Okay. And in the diagram there, oh, it's I showing see. using that's, the back. It's the that's why they provided a claw hammer. Oh, is that what you call yeah, it? Yeah, you use the claw to get the nail out. Yeah, so it's okay. using the claw to remove the nails. Okay. So first, remove the nameplate and all the nails. So it's the nameplate first. Okay, so I'll use the claw on the claw hammer. And that works quite well. And uh, move on to the sides, yeah? Yep. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Just like a real claw hammer. Satisfying. Okay, so that's all the nails out. Next, take the roof off. Puppy's gone to sleep now, so it's just powered down. Okay, so, okay, so you just pull that off. Because it just clipped on when we put it on. Okay, pulls off fairly easy. Forgot to mention in the last video, when the puppy is released from the roof, the whole ceiling comes down and forms part of the walls. Mm, so when you open the door, um, you can't see the release mechanism very well, can you? No. It looks like magic. Yeah. And it's got this wonderful picture. <laughs> yeah. That's so cute. Puppy's family, okay. It's also got some other detail in, like you've got a clock here, a plant, mm. a set of drawers with bones for handles, <laughs> and a sofa with a ball on it. Take the front and rear panels out. And finally, remove the left and right panels. So now we're going to look at reloading the puppy in the roof section. Manually open puppy trap door. If trap door and roof is closed, you can open it manually without building the house. 
carefully use the tip of a pen and insert it into the slot on the bottom of the roof. Then simply slide the pen along the trap to release the trap door. So we've got some diagrams here. So we've got the slot here mm -hmm. that you can put a pen in. The slot is here. And you can see how you can move it. Yeah, okay, it's clear enough. Figure two and figure three show the pen being moved along, moving the slot and then the door opening. Yeah. So it just comes down like that. So that's the easy way to open this. But... Yeah, obviously it's not triggered that way when you use it for the first time. You put a nail in there. And it seems to be the act of hammering home the nail that releases the door mechanism. And I did try this earlier on and it didn't work as well. So there's something. The roof's got to be in place, I would say. Yes. See if it drops down. And it still might drop down. Oh. Okay, so maybe the puppy's got to be in as well. Reloading puppy for repeat play. Ensure puppy switch is in the on position. Push tether component into slot on collar. Component is this bit hanging down from the roof, the apex yes. of the roof. It's got a plug into the puppy's collar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's in. Place puppy inside roof facing forward. Close the trap door until it clicks into place. Ah, oh, look what you found. So that, when you hammer the nail in, pushes that up there. Maybe the door's got to be closed because it keeps that peg up. Ah. So you can't see the puppy drop from the roof. Unless right. the door's closed, so it's keeping it, keeping the magic there. Right, so it, you can't, it won't drop down unless the door's closed. Mm, looks like it. Interesting. So it's on. Uh-huh. The door's closed. closed. The nail's in. Mm-hmm. And they're going to bang it home. And it's worked. There it is. So we've discovered this peg. So now we're going to try closing the door. Which pops the peg up. And putting the roof on without the puppy in. Mm -hmm. And try knocking the screw in and see if it still works. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. mm, sounds oh. like it has. Yes, it has. You can see that it has because we've got the picture there. So, yeah, the roof's come down. Mm. So it will still work without the puppy in, but the door has to be closed or it won't work. And that keeps the magic secret. So this peg, once you close the door, it comes up and then it goes up into this hole. Yeah. So when you put the nail in, it releases the roof. But the mechanism's right the way over here. There's the latching mechanism. So there must be some sort of lever mm. working here. Yes, there must be, yeah. To push that up. But we'd have to take it apart to, to look at that. And yeah, I, don't, I think, don't, think it, don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. So once the roof's fallen, uh, the puppy falls down and this pulls out of the back of the collar and turns the puppy on. It's interesting that once this ceiling sort of flips down, mm -hmm. obviously that's not supporting the dog anymore, so mm -hmm. it falls it falls off. But this must be very loose in it to sort of pull out. It's because it's just the It is, yeah. It's just very the, loose indeed, yeah. Yeah. It's just the weight of the dog mm. that causes that to release. So pushing that in puts this dog into a different state. Yeah, it'll just control a, control a switch inside. Whilst the plastic peg is pushed in, the switch will be off. And as soon as it's pulled out, the switch is on. Mm -hmm. And then it yaps. 
So it goes through this pro. It's like resetting a program, isn't it? Yeah. Because it yaps until it's touched, mm -hmm. and then it stops yapping, and it has these yeah. reactions to the touch sense on the head. Quite uh, quite an ingenious and setup, and uh, very well executed as well. So the only thing we've not talked about how how it works is this thing. So you can see the hole there and the hole there so for the you, water to yeah. you run took, into this. When you took the cold water from the doggy's ditch, it flows down here, doesn't it? Fill these little channels up, this like an yeah. overflow reservoir. Yeah, so that's the overflow. And this is where you want the water mm. to cause the paw print paw prints to appear above it yeah and the way they flow in the way the water flows in that one will show first then this one and then this that's one. right which is nice it's really nice idea that isn't mm, it like uh, walking towards yeah. the mm. the door so what is this exactly paul oh uh, i gather it must be some sort of temperature sensitive material so that when the temperature drops uh, uh the areas where the pads are uh, pad prints are just uh, change this uh, sort of darker grey and show up as footprints. We've got some clear plastic on the top and then the material underneath, the temperature sensitive material. So, so what sorts of material are sensitive to temperature? I think they're sort of like special chemical con concoctions like paints or plastics so there's like multiple it's like a mixture which becomes temperature sensitive yeah right so it's like like a plastic that's had some some sort of chemicals put in it yeah some sort of temperature sensitive paint applied to the back i would say right or film you know you can get them on the stick on thermometers that you put onto your head it'll uh, sometimes uh, show you what you, yeah that's got a temperature sensitive film in there and it's a similar principle here so that about wraps it up for this video showing how you can dismantle the kennel reload the roof and looking at how this works so this one didn't have any electronics in the house like the guinea pigs one guinea pig one last year mm, yeah. like the hutch was intelligent as well as the guinea pig last year yeah that was and quite, they communicated with infrared that's but quite something else wasn't this it? was all levers wasn't it yeah this is more sort of old style uh but but very well done very uh, well done mm, nice yeah. tough plastic nice detail on it everything fits together very accurately made mm. uh, it works well so folks that's it for this video Thanks for watching as always and hope to see you next time.